This video is to give you some information about writing outlines for my science classes. This applies to both physical science and general science. Now the main thing in writing outlines for this class is that you're going to be going through the module and every word that is printed in bold type needs to be included in your outline. But it's important that you organize the words in an outline form. In other words, you can't just list them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll show you here in the next slide how you would organize those. It's also recommended that you include a brief definition or an explanation for any of those bold words that you don't know what they mean. Also in your outline, you have to include the definitions for all the vocabulary words that are in the module. They have to be inserted in your outline where they belong and have a label of A, B, 1, or 2, as you'll see in the next slide. Also, you have to include any lists that are given in the module and number those accordingly. Finally, at the end of each section, you need to write a one to two sentence summary of that section. And you need to make sure that it relates to the section heading. So let's look at an example. Here's an example of an outline from module 12 of the Apologia General Science book. Notice the labels that are used here. First, we use the Roman, Roman numerals, then capital letters, then regular Arabic numbers, then small letters. This format is important to me and this is what you need to use in your outlines. Notice that all the vocabulary words are listed here along with their definition. But notice again, that they're just not listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're listed according to where they fit in the module. For example, the three words herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore, those are all examples of types of consumers. And therefore, they are listed A, B, C under consumers. In the same way, producers, consumers, and decomposers are three examples of types of energy users. And therefore, they are listed all under the letter B as one, two, and three. So that's what I mean by making lists and putting them in the proper place. Finally, as I mentioned, every section needs to have a summary where you take one or two sentences to summarize what that section was about and how it relates to the section heading. So that's kind of what you need to be looking for when you're doing an outline. Make sure you include all the bold words and you put them where they belong in their lists and indented properly. That's it.